Hi guys. Okay, so let's do this calculation uh, using the gas laws in a chemical reaction. Uh, so it's a stoichiometry in which you are given the amount of a reactant and you are supposed to find the volume of the product. So here you're given calcium carbonate, which is reacting with HCl, and this is giving you carbon dioxide, water, and calcium chloride. So the two entities that are going to be in question is calcium carbonate and carbon dioxide, okay? So the question is how many liters of carbon dioxide are produced? How many liters of carbon dioxide are produced uh, when um, 25 grams of calcium carbonate reacts at 752 millimeters of mercury and at 24 degrees Celsius. So there are a few things you're going to do here. First, always write down what is given to you and certain things you kind of know. Okay, so what is given to you is 25 grams of calcium carbonate and you know this 25 grams of calcium carbonate would need conversion to moles. And for that, you're going to be needing the molar mass, okay? Now, another thing that we already know is the value of R. Since the pressure we are using um, 752 millimeters of mercury. Therefore, the value of R is 62.4 liters millimeters per mer millimeters of mercury per mole K. Next thing is the temperature. If the temperature is given in Celsius, you always, always, always have to convert it to Kelvin by adding 273. So I've already done this for you. Next is you calculate the molar mass. So molar mass is we in calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate, because that's the amount that is given to us. So we need to convert that to moles. So that's why we need the molar mass of calcium carbonate. So you have one of calcium, one of carbon, and three of oxygen. And when you add um, the whole um, masses of each of these, you're going to get 100 grams per mole. Now, 100 grams per mole is the molar mass of calcium carbonate, which can be converted into two conversion factors, one mole over calcium carbonate, over 100 grams of calcium carbonate, and the other is the inverse of this, which is 100 grams of calcium carbonate over one mole of calcium carbonate. Now comes this different steps. Three main steps. First is find the moles of calcium carbonate using the molar mass. Second is find the moles of carbon dioxide using mole to mole ratio. And the third is plug in the moles of carbon dioxide into the ideal gas formula to attain the volume. Okay, so let's do this. So first is finding the moles of calcium carbonate using the molar mass. So we are given 25 grams of calcium carbonate, okay? So write down this, 25 grams calcium carbonate, convert that to moles. So we have here one mole of calcium carbonate is weighing 100 grams of calcium carbonate. And now I'm going to move here to find the moles of carbon dioxide. So here from the balanced equation, we see that one mole of calcium carbonate is giving you only one mole of carbon dioxide. Okay, so if it was something, if it was a different entity with one or two ratio, then that's the numbers you're going to put here. Now we are can canceling out the grams of calcium carbonate, the grams of calcium carbonate, moles of calcium carbonate, and the moles of cal calcium carbonate. And you are only left with the moles of carbon dioxide. So let's write this number down. 25 times one times one divided by 100 times one. And you are going to get here, um, a total of 0 0.250 moles of carbon dioxide. All right. Okay, now we have the moles of carbon dioxide. So this was basically step one plus step two, all combined together. Okay, next is the step three, where you take the moles of carbon dioxide and you plug them in the formula. So what is the formula? PV is equal to N R. Remember that we are finding the volume. So volume is equal to N R T over P. Okay, so now we will put this, plug in all these numbers, which is 0 
0.2, sorry, 0 0.250, 0 0.250 moles times the value of R, which is 62.4 liters time millimeters of mercury per mole K times the value of temperature 297 K. Okay, so that one was already converted to Kelvin. And here this whole thing is over 752 millimeters of mercury. And when you do the math, you will see that that moles and moles cancel out, millimeters of mercury, millimeters of mercury cancel out, K and K cancel out. And we are only left with the unit of liters. So now this ad comes out to be 6.16 liters of carbon dioxide. Okay, so this is how you use the steps in stoichiometry and the combined, you know, gas law combined together. So I hope that was easy and um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.